This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of our back here with another episode of Dracula 2, The Last Sanctuary. In the last episode, we entered the, the House of Carfax, one of uh, Dracula's holdings in London, to explore and see what he was hiding inside to figure out what to do next. But we found some items, found some dead people, and were attacked by these bat-like demon creature things. Perhaps the Black Guard, who knows. But uh, we beat them all with the power of the sun? I knew playing Dark Souls and Solaire would, uh, would tell me the right way to go. All praise the sun. But anyway, uh, I'll, you've also noticed for people who watched the last episode, there isn't a little microphone and green dot indicator in the lower right of the screen. No, that isn't part of the main game. It's for whatever reason, uh, my recording setup record record on this game specifically recorded the indicator on it, even though on other games I record it hides it, but on this game it showed it for whatever reason. So I decided to hide it, and I thought I could I could have recorded the beginning of the episode, the first episode again, but you know you want to keep the genuine reaction and everything like that for how you're recording so i left it and just noticed a little you know you'll just notice a little bug but in the future it won't be there so just to give you some behind the scenes stuff so anyway now that we've gotten everything the only other thing we haven't checked now that we got some new info is the box here now obviously before we couldn't do anything here however if you raise it just a little bit more i think i missed this the first time too i forgot to check the top to show you but there's a chain there we can't affect um, so let's click that. The wire cutter's here. Click that. Now we need to open the thing. So, yeah, now that we've unlocked that, now this appears. All right, so. Uh, it's a hinge, right? So, the closest thing we have that would probably affect that would be the oil can. All right, now. Let's pull it up. All right. Now it looks like we've got multiple, let's take a look at these. Okay, that's a triangle. That's a triangle, that's a square. No, uh, multiple triangles, okay. Oh, hmm, we need to adjust these, huh? And then we got stuff here. And the only thing I think that could fit there is probably gonna be those like plugs or whatever, which are these, yeah. Let's see what happens if I... Okay, so there's a specific way to go about this. Okay, let me see. Oh, um. Let's see that note. That doesn't show anything. That doesn't show anything. Let's take a look at the book again. I just see how many of these are. Because it said, it said it's supposed to be childish, so let's take a look at the... See what we can do if we flip them. Is it the same on this side? Okay. So we got the we either got triangle, upside down triangle, and then we got marks in both of them. So we have to use those to solve the puzzle. Hmm. Let me see what happens if we just because it looks like we're think we're we're missing anything um i'm trying to think what would be i'm trying to think if we've actually seen a a uh like something to tell me like where i need to place this because didn't the didn't the thing say about the the mansion being like four parts so maybe i have to i can ignore these two sections here and what did the um, <clears throat> what did the picture show? I don't know if they were all the same. Oh, I can't even look at that one anymore. I probably have to go to the... Because I don't know if those are all the same. Those, those might be slightly different. Because I'm going to have... Yeah, there's the fruit. So I don't know if that's... Because that's the man with his face ripped off the fruit. Um, crazy lady and that. Let me see... Um, so, I don't know if this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. 
now. See, would that do anything if I... I wonder if... Does that do anything if I... Oops, didn't mean to pull that out. I flip them. Maybe that'll see. Um. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got. So. See if those do anything. This one's a bit more of a complicated puzzle, I realize. Let's see what he said about the puzzle. He said it's simple, yet, you know, or I have trouble with it. Obviously it must not be that important if I can't look at all the all the spots or whatever. I know placement's gotta be important here, but hmm. let me see if they all have kind of a similar thing here. Oh well, I can't even look at it. It looks a similar. Yeah. <clears throat> Usually there's like an obvious solution somewhere that, or not obvious, but something that gives you a clue on what you're supposed to do. Hmm. No, that, really the book would be the only thing that would give us like an idea of what we're supposed to do. I don't think I can do anything with this yet. At least I don't believe so. Because I think we tried this last time. It's probably something that's in the box, I bet. Yeah, nothing there. I'm just trying to think. Usually, maybe this game is uh, slightly more um, challenging than the previous game when it comes to like the solutions. What am I missing here? I wonder if, I wonder if the, the these need to be different. These need a point towards, unless unless it's supposed to be opposite for the purposes of opening. Hmm. I mean, I could be wrong. <coughs> Sorry, I just uh, when you t when you do multiple queries back to back, you start uh, uh getting like little clicks in your throat and stuff like that. Oops. Now there's something on the middle, so I guess that was right because now I can click on this. So it was, it was just I did had to do the opposite arrows there. Okay. Well, what goes there then? Well, at least that wasn't there before, at least I'm, that I'm aware of. Hmm. Yeah, no, nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. So we put the dot, so it's bigger than we expected there. Wait, is that how we're supposed to figure out? Oh, was that always a gear there? Huh. Is there anything else that we can, whoops. I don't think there's, we probably just have to, maybe we're supposed to use that like, oh, okay. Oh, well that's, I wonder if that gear was there the whole time. I was just not miss, uh, not noticing it or whatever. So that's supposed to tell you like which one's going which. Okay. I must have just missed that gear. That happens. That's gonna happen quite a bit over the course of the game. Is like where 
when things are supposed to go. I was about to say that seemed weird that we just didn't have more of a of a clue about what where a thing was supposed to go. That seemed a bit odd. Okay, so that one is arrow. That one's that one's okay. Whoops. That one's good. Arrow down. Regular. Whoops. Regular arrow down. And then. Whoops. Crap. Didn't mean to click out of that. There we go. Now we can open it. Wow. I, like I said, you're you're probably gonna have multiple times through that the course of the game of me, like missing like little details like that so just be prepared for such situations looks like we drained something hmm. oh we filled up the well we pulled out some water so the only thing we no, i thought there was like some new other than the like i don't think we can go in right no so we deal with whatever that is so let's go back in the house the only thing we haven't checked is up there and down here because there was something else here too so I think the doors probably open yeah there, there was water or in there and so it drained it out or or pumped it out or whatever so okay now we're in the sewers or something like that anyway hmm. all right let's take a look around hopefully it's not like the actual sewers where it smells like a you know it smells like shite there's like nothing to check, but, you know, like I said, I've already missed a couple of things over the course of the game, so. I think it's just, I think I would have, should have seen the, those gears. Maybe I was just being a bit antsy, you know. That's the problem with, like, if I was playing this on my own time, it wouldn't even matter, like, how long it took me or whatever. I would just eventually figure it out, but when you're being recorded, you're almost like, oh, I gotta solve it now, otherwise I'll be an idiot, you know. Okay, I was like nothing here, so just, just a grate to somewhere. It's a grate. Can go up there. That's it for that. Let's uh. Well, actually, might as well go. I mean, well, there is. Might as well go where we go. Let's see. Okay, we are. Is this another? Is this still Car uh, Carfax or is this like the asylum? Might be. Can I go back in? No. Looks like we're. Or at least, let me make sure that I'm not missing it. Okay, so I guess there wasn't anything else in there. Otherwise. Otherwise, it wouldn't have locked us out. Or at least currently. There's still that one place in that one house, though, so obviously we'll have to come back at some point, so... Mr. Jonathan, sir. Please come in. This place always makes my flesh crawl. You're right to be wary, and if I may be so bold, I should avoid going into that room when I'm not around. They can be very dangerous, and I'm talking from experience. I shall leave you now. Dr. Seward is waiting for you in his office. So this is the Asylum. So we're at the next section of the game, the Asylum. So... Let's see, oh, something back there. So yeah, keep a new area, new places to explore, new items to keep. And a door, so I can't get in there. So we'll have to find a key for that or something. We do. No, that's not a key for that, so... <coughs> And I don't think this game has, like, a dead-end feature. I don't think you can, like, get to a point where you can't uh, continue forward. Or you can miss something, like an, other, like an older uh, adventure games. There was actually older adventure games. You could actually get to a point and miss an item. And, and that was... Oh, man. Jonathan, at last you're here. We were so worried. I'm here, and I'm all right. So then, what did you discover? It seems that Carfax is not quite as deserted as we thought. Hmm, I see what you mean. I've been noticing some very odd things there for some time now. All this is becoming rather disturbing. Ah, well, oh, that is disturbing. Your face there, dude. But uh, uh, to finish my thought, I thought uh, King's Quest V had a scene like that where you could get to a point. You had to, let, if you miss some cheese or saving a rat at a certain point in the game, then you could, you'd basically be screwed at like near the near the very end of the game and it was something that happened at the very beginning it was yeah, yeah, yeah that was that that's probably why it's not my favorite it's probably six just because of that anyway stop staring at me dude i'll ask you a question jeez have you found anything out about that ring that i brought back i've been able to reconstruct its history thanks to mina 
who has transcribed the wax cylinders which were recorded as a favor to me by a historian friend of mine. My attacks were so frequent that I don't have much time to work, and Seward insisted that I rest, but I wanted to help you. What have you discovered? The last known trace of the ring was back in 1442. It seems it belonged to Radu, a Romanian prince and the half-brother of Dracula. But there's more to it. Apparently, the ring is incomplete. In fact, in the engravings described, the ring is shown with a kind of diamond in its center. According to my friend's documents, this stone had the virtue of counterbalancing the evil side of the ring. We don't know any more, but it's certain that Dracula will do everything he can to get it back. Huh. Well then. Yeah, it's, you've got the similar conversation system from the previous game, and then if you... You can click it if you want to watch the whole scene again if you're missing like a clue or some story stuff, but uh, most cases we don't really need to. We pretty much get everything we need, but uh, anyway, let's ask him randomly about the matches, because, you know... Does the name Styx mean anything to you? It's the river of hell in Greek mythology, but I think it's also the name of a theater in London, isn't it? Yes, in fact, it's all the rage now. A hall where a cinematographer shows horror films. There's a mystery surrounding the identity of the owner, but I've done some investigating and have found nothing in the least bit suspicious. You'd better think again. I found proof at Carfax that Dracula is the owner of the Styx. My God, I've read that all London is lining up to go there. It's a fact that we cannot ignore, but it's very unlikely that the Styx is our principal target. To defeat Dracula once and for all, we have got to find his lair and strike at the heart. Well, for a guy who didn't really help us, well, only helped us with information and, and stayed behind when it actually got to the action, you're a, uh, seem a bit more actiony, but anyway. I confess, I just don't know what to do now. Mina, if you aren't too tired, perhaps you and I could have another try at hypnosis. I'm ready to do anything rather than stay under Dracula's yoke forever. Doctor, let's go. Your eyes are closing. Your spirit is roaming free. What do you see? I see a, a garden of stone, a, a shadow walking. He, he's coming to find me. I, I can hear voices. They'll make me go mad. Help me! Mina, you will sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. She describes the same scene at each session. I think the stone garden must be the cemetery at Highgate. Highgate, you say? Now that Mina is asleep, I can tell you that my visit to Carfax nearly cost me my life. But a man called Peabody was not so lucky. I found his body, and it seems that he worked at Highgate. Peabody, dead. He was investigating on my behalf. He said that he had seen some strange goings on near a tomb decorated with a stone wolf. It's more than likely that the cemetery is where Dracula has his secret sanctuary. Take this key and go over there. It will be safer to go via the sewers. I shall stay here with Mina. That was weird. Looks like the game kind of glitched there for a second. But uh, looks like Seward's going to take care of Mina, and hopefully he does a good job. Anyway, don't want to see her getting caught again. Ain't going to happen, right? She's not a DOD or DID. Yeah, it probably is. She was in the books, too, but that's because she got cursed at the very beginning, so you kind of have to, you know. Someone has to get caught or something bad has to happen to someone. You can't. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess that's... Looks like we can't use... Oh, wait, there was... Can't go... Can that be used over there? Yeah, it gave us that key, so... Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go through the sewers. But wouldn't Dracula also move through the sewers and have his own minions there? So... And I think it's nighttime yeah, now, so it's like... When, yeah, whatever. We're a man. We can do it. All right. Now we're uh, we're in the scary sewers. I don't want to go here anymore. Want to go back? Okay, fine. Well, let's take a the road less traveled. Okay, can't go this way yet. Probably need a light source or something like that. So don't see anything. So then again, with the simulation, I'm like, you think with like this high res computer, I would be able to see everything, but nope. Well, eyesight and all that rot. Go this way, just to... Oh, hello. I almost missed that. Is that some, just some rope? Uh, oh, we can use it. Huh. Well, I don't see anything we can use it on yet, so probably later. Okay. Uh, that. 
takes me... Okay, that takes me back. Hmm. What is that over there? A switch of some sort. I'm not missing anything else. Okay. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Maybe later. Hmm. Oh. A handle, or... Uh, whatever. Hmm. Do I don't think we have anything that... Can't use a handle on a handle. I don't... I don't really think... I mean, I'll click on all of it just to make sure, but I don't think we have anything currently that would lurk on this anyway. Oops. I keep forgetting the book. You can't do anything with that, so... Okay. Nothing... We don't have anything there, unfortunately, so we'll have to remember this for later. Yeah, nothing for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going through the sewers, the hum, the smell, the water. Yeah, nothing here. At least not that I saw. Hmm. It's like a... So we can't just jump in and get over to the other side we need to, like, lower this? I don't think we have anything for that either. Hmm. It doesn't seem like anything. Yeah, I can't shoot it. Yeah, I think this is a place we just have to come back to later. Oh, hello. I actually didn't expect that. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting to use that I, as a like a throwing device or as a hook, but that makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Hmm. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's my things everywhere. Ah, wrenches. Wrenches, axes, hammers. Is that just an imprint of a of a wrench? No, we can't even take the mallet either. I think that's more of a hallet. A hammer is more like thinner, but mallet is a bit bigger. So okay, so we got a wrench now. Well, wrenches can be useful. It's like nothing else here. At least not that it's highlighting. Okay, can we use that wrench on the uh, handle? I don't think so, but. Well, let's double check. You know, every time you get a new item, make sure to check it on check it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh, we broke it off. Huh. Okay. Why? I don't know. And I guess this isn't supposed to be anything. I think this is just supposed to be like an indicator that of that. Hmm. We'll need it for something, but... For what? I don't know. Let's see if we need to go forward now. Then we have that way, which doesn't... Yeah, you can tell it's like nighttime or something like that. Just the moonlit night. Nothing else there. Nothing else to see. Nothing else to see here. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm taking a. Sorry, I'm taking a. I had a. My my timer disappeared there for a second that I was using, and I was like, oh, I don't know how much time I got left. I mean, I could play as long as I want to cut it, but you know, what's the purpose of it? All right, nothing. Oh. What is that? Is that just darkness? Huh. I don't even know what that... I really don't know what that actually is. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I have anything I can use currently. Hmm. Oops. I don't. I guess it must be darkness. Maybe that's why it's not letting me go forward or something. Huh. Okay. I must be missing something. Well, let's go back to the old. I'm trying to I'm thinking if I've missed a, anything or not. I don't think I have. Well, in this like uh, like in the previous games, I always miss something by like a hair margin, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm if there's something I'm missing that I couldn't see or whatever. Hmm. Nothing there. Yeah, I couldn't do anything in there. There wasn't. I can't grab that. It won't let me move, so that means I just can't do anything there. Like maybe the next objective. I can't go back. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to be missing something. Like something I haven't grabbed or looked at or whatever. But I already grabbed the wrench. Yeah, it must be something like... 
like in a corner or on the side or something that I've haven't seen. Unless there's like a, a like a different uh, like like in like in the previous games, you had to look at something from a different angle, but that nothing seems to be coming up. Yeah, hopefully for those uh, those of you who have motion sickness, it's not affecting you too badly by me moving the mouse back and forth like this. It's affecting me a little bit because I I can get motion sick quite easily because I'm a little, I'm a guy worth laughing all day. Yeah, not. Yeah, it's got to be a case of me just not. Like, there's something I gotta grab or highlight that I can't see. Because hmm. we already went through there, though. Well, maybe there was a. Maybe I could go through the door and I didn't notice it. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try this. Cause it looks like there's a door here, but there's not. Hmm. Is there anything on the other side? Nothing I can grab. Hmm. That's annoying. Well, this is not a good start if I'm already having issues with uh with uh like finding stuff or where to go to next. I've always. It seems like that's always happened to me. Is there something here? Oh, dang it, game! Ugh, that really pisses me off. <laughs> because didn't? Because when I went through here, did it actually? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, that's a my bad. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, people are probably like, you gotta. It's in the center there, you dork. But anyway, put the wheel there. That. And that. Can I? Oh, that great. Did that open the door or? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oops. Uh, well, the ladder's there now. Um, can I grab it from... No. Interesting. What if I grab it? Can I... Do I need to do something with... Light the ladder on fire. Um, huh. Okay, the ladder's gone. But what now? Because I can still step on it. I wonder if there's like something I'm missing. Like I can drop down into that little area. But yeah, it won't let me grab the ladder from this side. That's a bit odd. Okay, let me grab that and see. Unless I can use something else there. I don't think so. There's doesn't seem to be th anything obvious. Maybe I'm supposed to grab an item from a previous area on this. Hmm. There, is there an indicator go down? Oh, maybe I can... Oh, maybe I can move the ladder in a different area, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, okay. It was just one... It, it was indicating me to move it to a different location. Gotcha. Well, wow, that's... Uh, Alright, let's just grab it again, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign, so... Alright. I might have to play a little bit longer just to make up for me spending like a few minutes not uh not knowing where to go or not clicking on stuff just to kind of make up for the the dead time or whatever. No, looks like we gotta. Why would I need to? Maybe it's to. Oh, okay. Can I grab the ladder? No. Nothing there. Oh. Uh. Let's see. Don't have a key. Ah. Okay, now we can get out. I guess I can't grab the ladder. Well, it's like there's just some areas we just have to come back to later. It seems like this place is a bit, a little bit more open than the, kind of like the first area in the previous game with the village and everything, except it's taken me a little bit longer to get through it than the pre than the previous game. Okay, it looks like we're in the sewers, or sewers. Looks like we're in the graveyard now. In the spooky graveyard. Now let's choose the direction and look. Man, the only thing that makes this a little bit creeper other than the wind is like, um, uh, would be like 
uh, like wolf howls or something like that in the distance. Not too scary, though. At least for old games go. Although the previous game wasn't really that scary either, but I still like the setting of it and everything. Even if it's not a perfect title. Yeah, sometimes you just have to find fun in the, the simplest things. I'm not seeing anything, so... Then I, what is that? Oh, that's a gravestone. I thought that was a person for a second. I was like, what? Is there someone here? Who's here? Who's there? Yeah, it's gonna keep a keep a straight eye. Don't rush it. Oh, there's another ladder there. Another one. Could have taken the one from before. Uh, maybe we have to shoot this one. Oh, that's what that key's for. That's like kind of an out of the way, uh, out of the about way to get it. But okay. Huh. Well, we got a ladder again. Another one. Hmm. That might help us, like back in the sewer, if we can go back that way at some point. But uh, we'll keep going. Glad I saw that. Yeah, unfortunately, some of the stuff kind of merges together, so you have to kind of just hi highlight it when you see it, and just hopefully that it's actually something important. Let me go forward, see if that that probably takes us back to the center again. Yeah, just taking a look around, see if I can. Yeah, back to the that's back to the sewer, so we need to either go that way or that way, which. Either way, so we'll just go around in a circle. Or, around the way. And there's a, I guess maybe a crypt, or maybe ones who haven't been buried, or maybe cremated, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% familiar with with cemetery, like, protocol and all this other stuff, especially back in the day. I know for a lot of people, they were putting mass graves, because they didn't have the room, and they were, you know, and it was usually people who weren't rich, were thrown into those. Man, I hate to think that you know, for those who wanted to be immortalized or remembered, that they were just thrown into some random grave to be forgotten to time. The true... what humans always strive for is to be remembered, if not in the history books, then those by those who transcend them or, or live on through them. Mm. Is the ladder the only thing? That can't be the only thing here. Oh, we can go up to there. Okay. There's a door here. I don't think we have anything for that. Yeah, shoot. Just shoot every lock in the game. We have plenty of bullets. It's America. I mean, uh, oh. Why would the ladder be for that? Oh, to get on top of it? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Well, let me, let me take a look through. Okay, I can't go over there anyway. Um, actually, since I've already... Where's going forward on this take us? Okay, it just takes us back to the sewer part. So, back forward here. Yeah, let's go up here first and see what we can see. Oh, what's this? A bag? A cross and a knife, maybe? Let's take a look. Oh, a stake. Ah, oh, well... And a cross, yep. Although the uh, it's kind of weird that Draco being uh, afraid of a cross seems a bit silly, but... Well, well, just in time, as the Master said. It just needs your corpse, and my work will be finished. And then I shall get my reward. Prepare to die. Oh, but don't worry. I shall make sure it's slow and extremely painful. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got a threat. we got to take care of this crazy dude. Okay, apparently a... Oh, okay, cross. Well, kill count number six, you know. Uh, I guess he was a zombie, because why would the cross work? Or not a zombie. Uh, well, let's see. There's vampires, and then there's, like, vampire spawn, and then there's, like, ghouls or whatever. But, uh, oh, boy. Well, this survived another encounter, so I think it's time for us to uh, take a break after that. So, in the next episode of Dracula 2, The Last Sanctuary, we'll continue to go through the graveyard and see if we can find the the secret uh, spot uh, Dracula's uh, been hiding his like coffin or whatever and see if we can stop him for good. Probably not this soon, but we'll, we'll be on our way. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.